My new favorite hat. I wish I just had more brown. That's why you can start wearing neutrals is what I've been trying to get you to do. I don't know what a neutral is. Ha 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 ha. A neutral color. Oh. Not uh, like the color, like the brown that you're wearing. Neutral is very neutral. Can I tell you, by the way, what having um, Victoria Rose at the house reminded me? Sure. And then we'll kick it off. I remember, dude. When, as soon as you guys left the house, I, I went straight. Look how camera four. Look at that. Holy shit! Look at camera four. What, what is that? What the back of my head looks like? That's super funny. Oh no! I. That's why I've been telling. Yeah. Holy shit! Yeah, that's why my mom was like, "You have to cut his hair." She's not kidding. Wozers! Why did nobody take a picture and send me that? That looks like a like a goat's beard. It looks like you have rats living under your hat. That is embarrassing. Why didn't anyone tell me? Hmm. Did you tell me? I'm so glad. By the way, we're gonna. I want to clip this just to send it to my mom. What? I don't even want to post this. What? I just want to send this to my. Mom. I want to post it because nobody, all the people who listen. Here's the thing, You're internet. Gonna, will you make sure you put it in the camera for? Hey, uh, hey, yeah, he's I, I, like, he's he's a, he's a professional. Yeah, I know. I'm just I'm just making sure because I know Wait, we don't usually use camera for. Listen, like, this you know, is the fact that you have that aim for the back of his head is fucking awesome. Hey, internet, you point out every other flaw that you think I have. And this actual flaw? People don't aren't ever seeing the back of your head, really. That's true. Well, now they are. Look at that. Yeah, I can't wait to post that. And 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 I didn't know it was so gray. It's like gray, gray. It's because you're getting old. Oh, dude, can I tell you something? All right. I found my first gray hair on my mustache. Did you rip it out? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can I tell you something? Can I tell you something? Okay. I've had gray uh, on my pubes. Uh, Rough. No, that doesn't bother me as much as the mustache. How does gray pubes? I feel like gray pubes would bug me the most. Nah, who's hey, seeing it besides your mom? Hey, before we continue, Matt, any way you can tighten me up on this camera so we're not seeing his head in my... Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Um, uh, you, sorry. Uh, what do you call gray it? Gray mustache. Yeah, dude, like... I see another one. It's so, I did too. It's so much worse to me than the pubes because. No one can see the pubes? <sighs> just your mom. Who cares? Gross. Do you know Maybe. what I mean? And you know what's next? The, the other one that I hate more? I found a gray hair on my arm. Ooh. Yo, that's gym teacher shit. Yeah. <laughs> that's like. That's you know, like Uncle Steve shit. Sued gray hair on the arm is like what I used to think. My dad was like, look at this old fuck with his gym teacher gray arms. Yep. But. The mustache is, look, I, I've always had a little gray in the beard, and sometimes I put some color in it, sometimes I don't. But the, the mustache has always stayed pretty dark, which in my mind, listen, don't object yet, in my mind has kept me young. Okay? This, this mustache, but a gray mustache means old dude. And then if I start to color in my mustache, I'm just going to smell that hair dye. It's going to get high all the time. That's going to bother the shit out of me. But I'll tell you on list. Okay. If you listed chest, arm, mustache, pubes, what bothers me most? One yep. to four? Yep. Mustache one. Interesting. Arm two. Okay. Chest three. Puby four. Well, yeah, because the last two people aren't seeing as much because you're not really got your shirt off unless you're posting those weird thirst trap sauna videos. Yeah, but I have those at different colors, so you can't see the... Oh, like there's a different light on it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. You can't yeah. see the gray. Yeah. Mustache is right on your face. Right in your face. And like, it's you're looking right at it. You're like, you are having an old face. <laughs> Anyways, uh, have we started? We hey, man. for the last five minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, everybody, I'm John. I'm Jacob. Hey, man. Hey, man. What's hey, up, everybody? What's up? Hey, listen. Uh... First of all, guys, I just want to say thank you for the enthusiasm, the energy, the comments on the posts. This podcast is uh, really starting to take shape and take some wings, and uh, it's because of you and you telling other people and you sharing it 
So thank you all so much. I really appreciate it so much. We got a lot to talk to you about today. Uh-huh. Um, Jacob Wolf has a few things he wants to say. Uh, I would love to talk to you about some things going on in my life that have just, I think, just changed me back to the person that I always wanted to be. Not wanted to be, but changed me back to the person. Anyways, I'll yeah, explain yeah. it later. Yeah. Um, we went to the Aviators game last night here in Las Vegas. Yes, I got this did. dope ass hat. What they rolled out the red carpet for us, man. It was yeah, it was super dope. cool, it was super dope. Um, great ballpark. Holy crap! Did I did I, I remember I told you this? No, what no, a cool ballpark. Yeah, no, super cool. There's a pool out in center field. The kids can go sit in. There's a little mini hill that the kids and their parents can just picnic on, which I thought was really fun. I heard like once a month or whatever, you can bring your dog out there. Probably, you know, they have a bat dog for the aviators. They do. There, when we were walking through the tunnel, you didn't see the dog kit, the dog kennel. Uh uh-uh. We walked by it. And Victoria Rose, who's my parents' niece and my little cousin, she goes, is that Spruce's cage? Talking about the... (laughs) So Spruce is the uh, mascot for the aviators. Spruce Goose. Spruce the Goose. And we walk past the dog cage. She goes, is that where Spruce lives? And I was like, Spruce doesn't live in the cage. She goes, how do you know? (laughs) Just walked away. By the way, she's extra funny. Super funny. Yeah, she's extra funny. But so the... And and Iman, my girlfriend, was like, "What, what is that for? And I go, oh, it's probably for a bat dog. She's like, what's a bat dog? And I said, well, you know how there's like a, like a ball boy and a bat boy? Like every time a, a somebody hits the ball, they drop the bat and the dude goes to get it. She goes, yeah. And I was like, sometimes they have a dog do it. So the dog goes and fetches this big stick and brings it back. She's like, where is the bat dog? And I was like, no bat dog tonight, unfortunately. Dude, bat dog is amazing. Bat dog's the best. Are you kidding me? That's like, I can't train Indiana to do anything. No. Iman, Iman's halfway to turn t- teaching him how to do spin move. Uh, uh, Indiana? Uh-huh. Maybe, can she teach... If we put a little tiny bat, can we teach Milo to be a bat dog? Just a tiny little bat? He likes to fetch. He doesn't like to bring it back. Oh, see, Indiana will bring it back, but he'll drop it like 15 feet away from you. No, Milo will take it. He likes to take his toys and take them over to a corner and then just like kiss them. (laughs) That's amazing. (laughs) Yeah. He's not really a toy guy. He's just like, these are my babies. And he doesn't really rip anything. Dude. So last night. Um, I was supposed to throw out the first pitch. I have a bum shoulder. So Jacob, uh, took the spot. Let me tell you, dude, you nailed it. Thanks, man. And I would, the entire experience reminded me how much I like to be out with the people that I love in a fun little spot and just to be living life. It was such a very cool night. Um, I have this, maybe my new favorite hat, I think. You gonna start wearing some more brown? I don't think so. Why? I don't like brown. Well, you can't wear the hat. Watch just blue and red. Can I just wear white? You got you got enough white to go around for I'll, the rest of the year. I'll buy some white. You are white. I'll buy white. Um, I by the way, I didn't know that my face was extra tan until you said something last night, dude. When because when Megan, who th- shout out Megan for helping us out with everything, Megan Fazio from Neon PR, the best. By the way. She's like, she's so good at what she does, but also your mom and I were talking about this today. Just such a cool person. Super cool. Super cool. Super cool. Super cool. She, asked, she was like, oh, you look like you got some sun. And you were like, oh, yeah. And she asked, did you go to a specific spray tan place? And you said no. Because there was, I was going to go to a spray tan place before we went to Hawaii to tan up the legs a little bit. But then mom didn't come, so you didn't have to wear shorts. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Just so you guys know, that's what happened. <laughs> When he goes on vacation with my mom and it's in like some sort of tropical place where he has to, uh, he has to match the energy because my mom just looks better than everybody when she goes out in public. Uh, and that's just, yeah, but it, is she, what it is like my mom and my girlfriend, they walk out in public and you're like, well, I got to try extra hard now. And I, so she'll walk out and say, oh yeah, I just do something together. And I'm like, I got to put all my best stuff on right now when I walk out. And it's a great thing. There's nothing bad about it. I love, like, I love my girlfriend. I think she's gorgeous. She's got a great style. It's just sometimes I want to walk out looking like a bum, but she won't let me. <laughs> uh, here's the thing. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to walk out next to her while she looks stunning, she, while I, I look mediocre. She'll let you. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You just, yeah. Because, Correct. She yeah, will yeah, let me. Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. But your mom doesn't care what I wear, go out in, but she does say when we go to the beach together, she was like, you should get a spray tan. And I'm like, why? Because your legs are translucent. Yes. Yeah, she's like, because if, if like we're on the beach together, it's, you're going to look like a, like a make a wish that I rescued from a cave. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you haven't seen, your legs haven't seen sun in probably 20 years. It's been a minute. 
But so, yeah, every time he goes on vacation with my mom to somewhere tropical, he has to get a spray tan so that people aren't scared of him when he walks around. Yes. You would look like one of those. You would look like like reflecting out of the sun. You would glow like an alien. People would be worried. I, my legs? Yeah. For sure. Your arms, your arms and your face tan super good. Yeah. You're like me. But that's how crazy the sun was in Hawaii is my face actually got burnt and my arms got burnt in Hawaii, which I thought's nuts because yeah. you know me. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That California, doesn't happen. California sun. You've been growing I'm, up. Yeah. In- I've never. Is my face extra tan? Dude, it looks a little more tame right now. But yesterday, when you took your glasses off, I was like, what? Like, really? Like, you, I, I'm not, this is a compliment I was hoping to drop and not bring back in. I look like Matthew McConaughey? You had Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, yeah. let's go. <laughs> <High five. laughs> you had yeah. a Matthew McConaughey tan. Like, you looked, you're wow. not, your arms weren't as tan, but your face was super tan. Holy crap. I'd like to have a McConaughey off with McConaughey. You're going to lose. I, it depends what McConaughey you want. If you want buff McConaughey, it's him. But if you're looking a little more million dollar buyers club, is that what that was called? Dal- Dallas, Dallas buyers, buyers club? club? Million dollars. I, I, maybe for, I mixed them too. You're up. going for Dallas buyers club. What's million dollar buyers club? No. Baby. Million dollar baby. Yeah. That song. That's how right No, million now. dollar baby was a movie. Was it? Yeah, with Clint Eastwood and Hillary Swank. Mm. Yeah, there was a bartender, this dude, who looked just like Hillary Swank. <laughs> the dude? Yeah, 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 yeah. He, <laughs> he, bartended, <laughs> he bartended at the... Um, that is the, amazing. He bartended at the Sacramento Punchline. And Hillary I used, Swank in Sacktown? I used to call him out from the stage. Hey, everybody, say hello to your bartender. I know he kind of looks like Hillary Swank, but dip him anyways. <laughs> he hated that. Oh, <laughs> dude, I would call him H. Swank all weekend. H. Swank! H. Swank! <laughs> <laughs> I would just call him Swank. I feel like Swank is a rough one. He he told me, he was like, that was a nickname that was tough to shake. <laughs> Yeah, over the rest of time, all the coworkers were like, hey, Hillary, shut up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine you're him. Hey, man, hey, we're talking to the bar back. Hey, man, can you go grab me some more lemons? Shut up, Hillary Swank. Hey, by the like, way, when he would be rough. When he complained, I would, hey, I would go, hey, dude, boys don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> it was so much fun. Uh, uh, I love torturing people. dude. Yeah, I know you do. I love torturing uh, I know you do. I know you do. It's one of my favorite things. I know. You like torturing your niece. She, well, oh, she, <laughs> so super she, funny. She uh this is what I what, what this is what I remembered. And by the way, with the help of the therapy that I'm doing. But I in the last five years, seven years, have been way too focused on more. I'm getting older. How do I more? I need to fit. I need to more, more, more. And I've, I have dropped fun and joy down on the list of things that I'm searching for. And I have put them both at at the top of the list. It's important because I think fun and joy attract everything else that I want. Absolutely. So I'm just going, so I was doing things to her that I just used to do to you, like embarrass you in public. Like I would sing just random songs in the middle of Whole Foods. Or just dance, start dancing. Oh, dude, little- I did the West Side Story. And yeah. I, I was doing the West Side Story dance, but I, I was making up a Chick-fil-A song. Yeah, you sang the Chick-fil-A song. Oh, sure. I did three different versions of it. You know, I didn't remember the words anyway. No, 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 no. By the way, it did sound like a song McKay would make. Really? <laughs> yeah. It, Same <laughs> tune. Like old school kind of Frank Sinatra. I, Crooner? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's easier to, it was slower, I can think of words. But she <laughs> was like, oh, she was walking like 20 feet behind me. <laughs> and when she walked behind me, I, I would be like, this is my niece behind me. And she'd be like, oh, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you love that shit. <laughs> Dude. You love that shit. So much fun, man. Um, so, anyways, I know we got a little off topic because that's what How you and I do. do this. I, I just want to say, I, I love this new, uh, what are we calling this right here? Logo? Lo- is that a logo? I, I love this new podcast, podcast artwork. Yeah, I really do. Besides the dick on the side of my neck, which is really pronounced. Every time I see it, it looks like something got inside my skin and is crawling up my brain. But besides that, it's, you're really infatuated with that. 
I really am. It's so thick. It looks like a like a either a micro penis or a pinky of like a the rock. The rock? A big pinky. You think the rock's pinky? He's probably got big hands. Yeah, you're right. He's a big dude. You're right. Uh, but anyways. I've walked past like a seven foot ginormous human being in Albertsons before I was here. Really? Just massive human. Just on a random note. I was walking, I was going to get avocados, and I picked up an avocado. And then I saw his hand going. He was like, excuse me. And he just like his hand grabbed like seven of them. And I was like, God damn, what the fuck? I was like, hey, man. He was like, what's up? And I was like. Did you say, can I have a piggy bag ride? I almost did ask him. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot of dudes that much taller than me. Yeah. Oh, it was a big, uh, it was a, like you like to say, it was a. Yeah, big dude. Thick, thick, big, big. Thick, thick neck boys. Thick neck boy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, can I tell you, uh, I've. I really realize as I've gotten older why we don't do piggybacks anymore. Or we on talked, the shoulders. We talked about this before? I, I don't know, but I'll remind you. Because when you were a kid, everybody had a wiener. But now, it's just like somebody's dick is in your back. Yeah. Or, and especially on the shoulders, it's just you can't afford dick. Dick on you, neck. Yeah, you can't avoid dick on the neck. That's why I don't really feel like guys are supposed to be on other dudes' shoulders. Well, when you're younger, it's wiener. And you don't really, but, but even, as, even our neck But now. here's the thing. Even as a kid, the only time I ever remember being on my friend's shoulders was in the pool when we were playing chicken. Yeah, that's right. But other than that, never, never anywhere else. Nah, you're not like walking into school with some dude on your neck. I mean, maybe pause, you are. Pause. <laughs> maybe you are. <laughs> no, no, no. But I mean, like, even like, like, you know, when you go to like music festivals and whatnot, at least when I did, because you went to Old Cello, so no one's getting on someone's shoulders at Old Cello. They sure did <laughs> get on shoulders. Did they? Yep. Who? What do you mean? You don't think some of those old ladies, oh, dude, it was great because no matter what side, front or back, you saw titties. Rough. Yeah. <laughs> there were definite lots of back titties that were better than the front titties, actually, which yeah. was an interesting twist. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think I kind of would But back titties on the men and women, by the way, everybody. Don't, yeah. don't, I'm not saying, I'm not, not leaving the dudes out. No, dude. You know what I love the most? Probably about? more back titties on the dudes, honestly. Yeah, there was a lot. <laughs> yeah. Um, I did like every dude there. It's like guys over the age of 50 don't know how to use sunscreen. It was no, just, no, it, it, no, none of them ever do. That's the best part. Like baseball games, football games, any, any, some sort of outside event. They don't even know what the words sun and screen are together. They know what they are separately, but together they're like, that's a foreign language to me. Dude, they look like sweaty tomatoes. Is what they look like. My, my favorite thing is like going to like amusement parks or like especially Disneyland. Yeah. And like you can tell which people are English. For sure. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Dude. That's my favorite. We'll walk around because like even the old white dudes at Disneyland, they're everyone's like, all right, we all got sunscreen on. Like, but you can always tell who the Brits are at Disneyland or Disney World. Because they look like lobsters. They've never seen a sun like that before. Never. No. Never. Never. You, they don't understand. They no. can't even fully comprehend. No. Like, like, cheerio. You know. How was that accent? Cheerio. Are you going to watch you the like new Russell Brand? But like, That's British. No, nah, but like a really high-pitched, not Russell Brand. Huh? You heard me. You said Russell Brand, but a high-pitched, not Russell Brand. Correct. Okay. <laughs> um, are you going to watch... The new Beverly Hills Cop. With Murphy? Yeah. Probably. Have you seen one and two? Yeah. We watched them in New Zealand. Oh, that's right. There's nothing in, else In Taronga. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it, was, it was 1130 <laughs> after our show. You and I could not fall asleep. No. Because weed is illegal. And also, even though there was weed around us, it looked like, oh, I also sent something else on the Instagram that I would like to pull up to, to show you speaking okay. of weed. And, uh, and it just looked like dirt. It looked like oregano. Stop flexing your pecs. I didn't. I was actually just moving and they flexed by themselves. Anywho. But so, yeah. And we were sitting there and the first Beverly Hills Cop was on and we finished it. And I was like, that was pretty good. And you were like, have you not seen him? I go, no, I don't think so. And we looked on the guy and he was like, you said, well, the second one's on right now. And I was like, great, set it up. And we just sat there and watched Beverly Hills Cop one and two back to back. The first one is real. I really like the first one. The first one is outstanding. Dude. I, I think I'm going to see. Second one. Some people say, and you ask Freddie Prinz Jr., he'll tell you two better than one. Interesting. It, I, by the way, I'm not mad at you that. you agree, Matt? I'm not, I'm not mad at that argument. They're both really good. And it, I, that's the thing. Like, like, I'm not mad at that argument. I'm really not. Can we think of another movie that has gotten better 
Austin Powers. 100% gold member is the best out of the three. I think I agree with that. Not think. It's not. Look, I'm going to say this straight to camera. If you think International Man of Mystery or The Spy Who Shagged Me is better than gold member, you're, you're just wrong. Everybody's entitled to their own opinions, but that opinion is so... International Man of Mystery doesn't even come close. I guess Is that the you, first one? Yeah. You could kind of somewhat mm. whatever argue The Spy Who Shagged Me because of that scene with Fat Bastard. But Goldmember has too many good scenes with Fat Bastard and he, everything else that it's just too it's too good. Here's what I would say about International Man of Mystery that it had going for it. Although Fat Bastard in the second one, it's hard to say one's better. It's hard to say it's not better with Fat Bastard. But here's what I would say. It was so different and new that I think it has to get credit for that, the first one. It was so funny. Sure, sure. And so different. Although, it, it like, if... Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, it was so unexpectedly uh, funny. 100% to set the tone, and I love that. Yeah. And it it, it kind of came up with something different. And it was good. I'm not saying the first one is a bad movie, and I'm not saying the second one is a bad movie. I'm just saying there's no chance that either of them come close to gold. Memory. What about any of the Star Wars? Did you think they got better? Yeah, are we talking new ones or the actual first six episodes? Because the new ones are dick. The Ooh, somebody's going to get some angry messages in his DM. I don't uh, think so. I don't think so. I think everyone will agree with me. Look, I love Kylo Ren. It's my twin. I love Adam Driver. Do you didn't like wrong? those movies? The first one was all right. The second one was not that great. Oh, uh, yo! All I'm saying is, you're telling me that she had whatever that Leia had the force the entire time, and she's just fucking floating through space after something blows up, and then she ends up on a ship. Fuck you! What? Fuck you! By the way, that, that was so dumb. She was floating through space. It looked like the worst CGI. She was just like do 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 do. Well, she and then she gets to the. It was hard to make it perfect because she was dead. Isn't that wasn't she dead when that happened? Was no, I think she was alive. I think that was the whole thing. She came floating by and then her eyes opened no, up. No, but I mean like she was actually dead in real life. Oh. Oh, she wasn't dead no, yet. No, she in real wasn't life? dead then. No. Can I'm I, not can, dead yet. Did I ever tell <laughs> <laughs> Love Monty Python, by the way? Can I tell you, did I ever tell you what so that first one with Adam Driver and the woman? What was the young lady's name? I don't remember. Say it again. Daisy, Daisy Ridley. Ridley. Thank okay. you. So then um, Dan, my brother and I, we go, hey, let's go see Rogue One. Okay. And I told Dan, I go, hey, let's not watch any commercials so we can just go in because I don't like your room. I'm not a Star Wars nerd. I don't know. I just, I figured it's going to be the next one. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So we sit down and it's, I say to him, I go, this woman looks so different and she has a different, like, it's like she... She's not covering up her accent on this one. And I don't understand the story. I didn't understand that it wasn't in sequence. Yeah, so the, it was a whole new. Yeah. So the whole, it was like two and I a mean, half. Yeah. But there were callbacks. And I, like, I had to like no previous... idea. I kept leaning over to him. I was like, she, it's like she stopped working out or something. She, she looks different. <sighs> and then towards the end, he goes, you know, this is not in order. I was like, why didn't you tell me that? Yeah, you might have enjoyed it a little more. He said, no, I, just, yeah. I thought it was funny every time you whispered. <laughs> She's so different. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh, you fucked me up. I need yeah. to go back and watch it because I was... No, you don't. I, th I thought it was like, this is the worst sequel you of all you, time. You don't need to watch any of them again. Why not? They're just... Matt, help me out. I'm not, I'm not being a harsh critic here. They're not the greatest movies ever. Thank you. I, but yeah, they, they, they do just keep getting really bad. I want to say this out loud. To YouTube, fuddy duddies. They're not for us. They're not. Every generation, they're for younger people. Cool. So when you get older, you're like, they weren't as good as ours. And it's, I don't, they're not for us. The older ones aren't even for, they, like, I, I feel like that generation is past me. I feel like this generation of Star Wars was made for my generation. And I think they're terrible. I like how your voice cracked. <laughs> <laughs> like right right am i right man like i feel like i'm in this generation that this star wars is supposed yeah. to be for you bad by the way you are i didn't bad. know this until yesterday that victoria rose told me you were a year away from being a millennial what i thought and i think 1998 is the last year for millennials you were really the i think you were the first no that can't be right google it when's what when does what's the years of millennials millennials you mean gen z gen, google the years of millennials 
Go Google it. Go 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 go. Here's... I, I'll do a song while you're googling. Okay. He's gonna Google. He's gonna Google and a giggle and a schmoogle. He's gonna smiggle. He's gonna <laughs> wiggle. Was... He's gonna Google and a wiggle and a smiggle and a Google and he's got it. Da, 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 da. Hey, what do you got? Uh, millennials are people born between 1981 and 1996. Yeah, you said 98. That's why I was confused. I was trying to figure I out meant, which way. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was trying way. to figure out which way you're going to go. You were you know, a year does, away from does, being a millennial. Does that dude? technically mean Riley Sprague is a millennial? Yes. No shit. Yeah. Riley, you're old as fuck. <laughs> That's right. I was going to say something funny, but I'm not sure if he thought it was funny. <laughs> is it about what, how he looked in that video? No, I was just going to say pretty old. I didn't know millennials still lived at home with their parents. <laughs> Good thing he doesn't even watch the podcast. <laughs> oh, I'm going to clip this and send it to him. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> Although that's not true. I think most millennials do live at home with their parents. So I don't know. I don't even know. Like yeah, millenn- Your other two kids are millennials. Millennials are old now. Like Sandy Danto's almost 40. He's a millennial. But you're Sandy Danto born. Wait, 81? That means you can be 43 and be a millennial. Correct. Oh, yeah. But I, th- I don't think people know how old millennials are now. Well, Yeah. The, the millennials that they used to hate are the age that I am now. Yeah. Like, so people just think that all, all everybody this age is a millennial when... Uh, Do you know, you know what the generation under you is called? Generation Alpha. I had no idea. They have to go back to the top. And to, yeah, but I don't think we started at A. If I feel like we kind of started at, at Gen X. Like, was there a Gen... What's before yeah, X? I, I, yeah, yeah, but was, that doesn't... So they, right? So there's no... That doesn't go in letters. It went from B to X, and now yeah. we got to go back to A. Yeah. Well, but there's the thing. Is the generation below me is like, yeah, we're Generation Alpha. You guys are the most beta generation of all time. They're, well, I mean, they're also 12. <laughs> by, exact, <laughs> by, by the way, my exact point. I mean, my exact it's, point. It's my exact to, point. It's hard to judge them now. No, nah, judge. You got to judge them early. You got to get them into it. <laughs> get them used to the criticism of the world real fast. Uh, dude, <laughs> by the way, watch Presumed Innocent. Yes, we're gonna. I remember you telling me about that. Yo, legit. I, I finished watching the first season. I'm assuming there's gonna be another one of Dark Matters. Legit. Dark Matters. Oh, legit. And I started watching this show on Netflix called Sweet Tooth. Is that something about a weird dentist? No, but it could be. That's my choice. Oh, that was my thought. It's about, I guess they're mutants. Um, Pause. What do you mean you guess? Well, they, the, they, like, they're half kid, half, not half, mostly kid. No, nah, it depends on the kid. Part kid, part animal. Oh, but this isn't real. No, it would be awesome if it was. Be, I, I'm, if it was real, you would have heard of it, I'm sure. <laughs> That's a good point, actually. <laughs> if there was, like, a half deer, half boy, you'd be like, somebody would have been like, hey, have you heard of the half deer, half boy? Yeah. You'd at least seen it on TikTok. The ticket tech. Oh, can we also go over the fact that you thought a picture of a Frenchie on Instagram was not, was real and not AI? <laughs> Did we have to talk about Yeah, hold on. I'm actually going to pull it up. So, so embarrassing. Talk about it. Dude, the best part about it is it says AI. I couldn't read it in my glasses on. Okay, guys. So just based off, I'm going to, I wonder if you can see, I'll, see, I'll have Matt zoom in at this. Guys, just based off this picture, when you see it, you'll know it's probably not real. How? How do you know? Dude, look at the picture itself. The picture does not look real. How do you know? I can't tell anymore. I can't tell. How that. do you tell? Can you, right off the bat, can you tell me no. that's not a real picture? Right? Uh, and also look at the name of the, look at the name. That of the I didn't see. I didn't yeah. see the name. Yeah, the name of the page says Frenchy AI, which I think is. <laughs> but maybe, maybe the Frenchie's name is Frenchie I. Nope. Hey, dude, that does not look like a real dog. It, I listen. They they mix so many together. How much could that not be? Maybe that's like no, half... no, no. I'm just saying. Like, look at it closely. You're yeah. telling me that looks like a real animal? Maybe. Oh my god. <laughs> that is the oldest. <laughs> that is the oldest shit you have done to date. Oh, uh, dude, that's rough. Be- before we get going into, um, uh, what you want to talk about today? I want you to know that. Do you know what the side um, benefit. I don't know if it's a benefit, but the side effect that I was not expecting from the therapy. Huh. Don't crave weed at all. More for me, for sure. Nice. I don't. <laughs> I don't crave it. Like every night, I I would crave it. I don't crave it at all. My body doesn't. I don't know. I. It's been such an interesting, different thing. 
but and crave isn't the right word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, not desire. It makes it sound weird, but like here's the thing for me is like I wake up, I go throughout my day where it's like it's, there's never a point where it's like oh I need to smoke some weed or I really want to smoke some weed right now. I just walk by it and go, yeah, okay. Like I, it's not something even today for me that I'm like really need to go look for. Yeah, you know what I mean. I, this has been like now I'm not sleeping as well. Yeah, uh, <laughs> be, because it's I, half the reason. My body is like, you should smoke some weed. Because my, my, my brain is like, doo -doo -doo -doo. I got to be able to figure out how to go to sleep without it, melatonin. especially without 100 milligrams. Yeah, my melatonin puts me to sleep and then I wake up two hours later. Really? Take more. <laughs> it actually, the more you take, disrupts your sleep. It's supposed to help you go to sleep, not keep you asleep. Oh, it kept me asleep on that flight home from, from London when I couldn't make it to the big London. London. London time. I'm going to London. I know you are, dude. Can't wait. I, let me ask you something. How cool was it to be able to get those tickets with miles on the plane that you earned from your work? It's pretty amazing. Still haven't gotten the tickets yet. Um, oh, you better. Oh, I know. I trust me. I've been checking them. They're still around the same price, okay. if not cheaper for some reason, which I think is really okay, yeah. But uh, we'll talk about that. I think actually whatever day we fly in that Sunday, I'm going to leave that Sunday. I'm not going to leave Monday. Okay. So I'm literally going to get home from a plane, go home, switch out all my stuff, get on another plane. All right. Cause so we'll talk about that. Like for, but yeah, it's pretty awesome. Like we're going to stay in London for three days and then go stay in Leicester for two days, three days, which is going to be super awesome. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, that's coming up pretty fast. So I'm pretty excited about it. Dude. I got, I honestly got home last night from the game and watched you having your hard seltzer. What was it? High noon. Your high noon. And was like, you know, I don't drink. Uh -huh. I was so jealous. I went home. You know what I did? I cracked open a best day. Yeah. I wish I had brought one with me to the ballpark. You can't. I can't. But it was, it would have been perfect. It was perfect weather, perfect sunshine, perfect setting yeah. to watch a ball game live with the best day. I feel like there needs to be, there needs to be more non, there's no, there, I've never seen at a ballpark or any stadium sporting event whatsoever, non-alcoholic beers. I'm sure they do, but they don't have them this good. No, I, I, me. It's true, true. You order more than I do from there. I have never at any bar, at any stadium or any out event. I mean, at like bars here in Vegas, they have like, you know, non-alcoholics and at regular bars, but at sporting events, um, concerts, anything like that, I've never ever in my life seen a non-alcoholic. Hey, aviators, listen, a best day brew, which is the best tasting beer, it just happens to be non-alcoholic, would be amazing for a bunch of us. It would I, be great. It uh, would be really It good. would be amazing. Yeah. So, uh, but it was great, man. And yeah. what a great day. Let's talk about what you want to talk about because it's super important to both of us. Yeah, you know, I threw out the first pitch yesterday. That was pretty awesome. Um, but you know, generally July second is a uh, is a hard day for me. Um, yesterday was what would have been Jackson Odell's twenty seventh birthday, um, and that day is always you know it's always kind of slow and just kind of you know, you know, just a day for me to kind of do whatever I need to do. Do you want to remind people who Jackson is? Oh, uh, Jackson Odell is uh, one of my best friends. He unfortunately passed away uh, six years ago. Um, just over six years ago. And, uh, the day, you know, I hate that cliche that time heals. Like I, I really do because in time, like where people are like, what do I do? Like even when I was going through what I was going through or when other people are going through the same thing, I hate saying to them time, you know, time will heal because as somebody who had to hear that from others, it's plain and simple, fucking annoying. Kind of uh, true, though. It, it is, though. It's yeah. just hard to listen to in yes, that moment because it's like anybody who doesn't have anything to say or anything that is like, like, contri like contributes well to that. Yeah. All everybody says that that's the one thing that everybody says is time will heal. Yeah. And I remember hearing it for so long and I fucking hated it. Okay. Because it's just annoying to me. Yeah. And I don't like being able to, I having to say that to other people because it's, but, but sometimes it's the only thing that I can't say. Yesterday was the first day, the first time in six years that on that day, I went outside and like didn't just like sit at home for the entire day. Because generally on those days, I wake up and just get ungodly high mm -hmm. from 10 a.m. to 2 a.m. I'll go. How come? I don't know. Also, usually I'm with my guys. I'm usually like for the last four, the last two years I've been out here in Vegas. And I just haven't like, you know, my group of friends isn't here. 
So for the four years prior to that, all of us would kind of always get together. You know, we'd come by the house. We were at my house, like my apartment, whatever. We'd always all get together, get high, and just hang out all day, get lunch, get dinner. Like it was just a solemn day that all of us had together to just to just be with one another. Do you know what I mean? And just to to celebrate the guy that Jackson Odell was. And uh, I haven't been able to do that recently, mm -hmm. just because like I mean I have I have buddies out here, but I, I don't have like yeah my guys out here. Yeah, you know what I mean. And so yesterday I was the first time in the last six years that. I wasn't moving at that kind of pace. And it was, there was also part of me who didn't want to come to the Aviators game. Because mm -hmm. I was always, I was already anticipating that I was going to be too upset to want to leave the house. And, uh, and Iman said it to me and you said it to me. But, it, you know, it was, it was, you know, if anybody would want you to not be inside and in your feelings and doing something that would make you happy, it's Jackson Oak. And I think that's kind of the one that put me over that wanted me to to go out and uh, and throw out the first pitch. It just made the day a little more special. You know what I mean? Because that day I shouldn't... I mean, I should be grieving however I want, but I should be celebrating in my mind on his birthday, on the anniversary of his passing, all that stuff. Because I remember going to that funeral and specifically told all the friends not to wear black, even though everybody else was. And they said, why? And I said, because we're not wearing dark colors. Because this isn't a morning, it's a celebration. And so we all wore white, bright blue, purple, something. We all wore something that wasn't a dark shade of black. And I want to be able to do that again and just not have it. I feel like I've gotten to a point to where when things happen right now, like I used to be a really like, let's go out and do something, celebrate, take our mind off it. In the last couple of years, it's been the complete opposite of what I used to do. And it's just been like mm -hmm. hiding mm -hmm. in a corner. And yesterday, it felt really good to just kind of be, to be out and the celebration and, uh, you know, Jack, I didn't, I, I, t I talked to you yesterday, but you know, I didn't talk as much as we usually do. I think it was more just cause like, I was just really just trying to keep my mind afresh, but, um, there isn't a day that fucking goes by that I don't talk to you. I don't think about you. Listen to a song that reminds me about you. And, uh, and, um, I am. Under all of it, definitely still angry because it shouldn't have, it just shouldn't have been. Like, I shouldn't have to be having this conversation right now with my dad on this podcast. I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be talking about how you haven't been here the last six years and, and, and the events that you've missed and the music that you've missed and, and just life that you've missed. Um, it, it's, it's not fair. And that's just plain and simple how I feel. But at the same time, I'm, I'm glad you're, not in pain. I'm glad you're in a better place. I know you're up there with your idols of all idols, writing music, celebrating every day, doing whatever the fuck you want to do. And bottom line, brother, I miss you more than fucking anything. Um, I would give, I would give anything for a hug or conversation, fucking something. But I love you. I love you. I love you. Um, happy 27th. And uh, with all that being said, I will see you soon. It is not a goodbye. It is just not a forever, but just a, a talk to you later. And I love, love, love you. And uh, and that's it. That was beautiful. First of all, you're not going to see him soon. No, 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 no. But okay. like, no, no, no. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. No, no. Just like I see you. Yeah, like, I yeah, see you yeah. soon as in like see you eventually type and, shit. And I thought that was, I think that's beautiful. And I would say this, man, about anyone in my life that I've ever met, nobody loved life more than Jackson Odell. And so here's what I would say to you. And I've, I've, I've waited six years to say this to you. But if you truly want to honor him, which is what the idea is, it's not about you, it's about him. The way to honor him is to go balls to the wall. It's not to sit in the house. Because that dude didn't spend a day sitting moping in his house. Not a fucking minute. No. You know? And so if you want to honor him, I would grab his energy and honor him. And I, I told you this the other day, man, but I, I wasn't sure if I was going to tell you, but I did, but I felt him at the bourbon room when you were on stage. I was wearing a shirt, a shirt I was wearing yesterday. I, was wearing I, I felt him there, man. And I truly believe he's one of the reasons, uh, that you're on tour with me. I, be, I truly believe part of him is with you and us every weekend. Yeah. 
I do believe that dude. So what I would tell you is you want to honor that kid. You want to honor him in his life, which was a beautiful, poetic, artistic, uh, metal pedal to the metal. Let's fucking go life. I would grab that. And any, anytime you throw out the first pitch, that kind of stuff where you push yourself out of your comfort zone, you know, that dude, it didn't matter if he was climbing rocks, like an uncoordinated eight year old or throwing a football, like an uncoordinated, uncoordinated four year old. He was going a hundred percent. Yeah. And always wearing those stupid boots. A uh, hundred, but he didn't matter where we were. This dude was always in boots that he bought in Nashville. And he was like, doesn't matter where we're going. I'm wearing them. And it didn't matter what he was doing. He was doing it a hundred percent. Yeah. I just, uh, so I, I would say this. It, and I, and you, you're older now and the time has passed. I know you hate that, <laughs> but to really honor that kid in particular, I would get, I would try to get out of your feelings as much as you can and into life because that was him. Yeah. It's just hard. I know dude. I just like, it's, it's still, it's still something I hold so much guilt over. Even though I like I, I, there's no reason for me to have any yeah. guilt. There's just, for me, there's so much guilt wrapped up with that kid and how he went. And because of, I don't know, decisions I wish I would have made but I can't change. And I, and my brain knows that. And 98% of my brain knows that. But the other 2% is what could you have done more? Yeah, I get that. But the 98% of my brain is like, dude, there is physically nothing more you could have done. Mm -hmm. But it's also just like, I, it's hard for me to accept. It's hard for me to accept. It's hard for me to like comprehend. It's hard for me to like understand. Yeah. Because again, like I know life's not fair, but like, he got so much life in. But he had so much more. He for sure did. He for sure did. I also did. realized I didn't cry yesterday. That's why I was crying. Yeah, I mean, listen, man, uh, there's no right or wrong to this. You you express yourself and 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 um and 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 just let it happen however it's gonna happen. So I and dude, look, man, you and I've always said this. You are a ride or die friend. And if you got Jacob Wolf in your corner, you have got a ride or die. And some people in the past have taken advantage of that. And, and fucking fucked around and found out. Yep. But Jackson Odell, dude, he, he, I remember him talking to your mom and I in the kitchen. And he was, by the way, at 16, could hold conversations with adults that you were like this is he from another planet but he I, he was older than 16 he might have been 18 he'd already gone to nashville a bunch and back and forth and and had been out in the world and was definitely doing the drugs but was writing songs with amazing people and recording amazing things and he was at our house for a sleepover right he spent the night and um he was like, you know, there's nobody in my life like Jacob. And I was like, what do you mean? And he was like, there's just nobody like Jacob. I can always come back to Jacob. And Jacob is always here for me no matter what. And he knew that, dude. Do you know what I mean? This is not something that he didn't know. He knew 100% that there was only one friend like you. And so nothing you could have done to stop what happened, dude? But know that while he was here, you did everything you could for him. And he knew it. You know what I'm saying? It's huge. So I love you, man. I love how... I'm going to give you a second and I'll, I'll just tell some dick jokes. But I love how much you love your people. And don't ever let anything change this. Although you probably feel more than most people I know it that's what life is dude it's about feeling it and so I, I'm super proud of you I'm super proud of how much you honor him every year and not just on his birthday on the day he died but continuously and I am super proud of the young man that you are and how much you ride or die with your people dude. so I'm I'm honored and humbled to 
experience it every weekend, you know, the, the, the young man that you are. So I, I appreciate you, man, so much. Yeah, I love you. Um, do you want me to tell a couple dick jokes to, so you can write it out? So, but I think a great way to segue is Matt, pull up the video. Oh, what video? I said, uh, I saw a video. This will make me laugh. Is this with the penis neck? No, no, no. no. <laughs> Matt, it does kind of look dick neck, right? <laughs> All right. So I came across this video on is Instagram. That the, is that the guy from the, the bear? Uh, no, so okay. this is a uh, this is a guy. I found this video, and Poo and it's called Pujitsu training. So Matt, I'm not even gonna. Oh anymore. no! Play it. There's a sneak peek on how a full time Pujitsu fighter trains. Please enjoy. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, he's going to be exhausted. <laughs> That's it. That's the video. <laughs> I get a couple questions. First of all, Ooh, now we're both crying. That was amazing. First of all, real? 100% real. Second of all, who's got that much stored up? Great question. I had the same exact question. Third of all, I'm not going to lie to you. I was hoping the that he was going to shit himself in the last one. I also was hoping the same thing because that really would have made the whole video, but it did not happen. But it did. But I, I did it almost did because he spit. Like, did you notice how the last one he grabbed? Like he spread he his spread his cheeks because I think he was trying to make himself shit himself. But I'll tell you something for someone who spread his cheeks to get that type of noise and not shit yourself. Pretty impressive. Very. But I it, black it, belt and I'm sorry, brown belt and pujitsu. It, <laughs> right. Can I tell you what else? Uh, actually. I, when I saw this, first thing I thought was, actually, if if I was going to get in a fight with someone who I knew could beat me up, I would just shit myself and put it in my hand. Dude, do you know what I said to the boys on the natural pod? Like, I was like, hey, you ever want to get out of a fight? You ever, have you seen that clip? Yo, if you ever want to get out of a fight for a fight you know you're going to lose, you know, if I was going to get into a fight with someone, you know who I don't want to fight? Someone who's naked. So De definitely I, naked. That's what I, that's what I told him. I was like, dude, you ever want to get it? You ever want to get out of a fight? Drop your pants. Who? Drop your pants. Take your shirt off and just get there and square up in your tidy whities No dude ever wants to fight a dude mm, who's naked. I think you got to go full naked. I'd fight a guy in, a, in his bathing suit, so I'd fight a guy in his tidy whities Bathing suit. I, I, if we were at the beach, I'd fight you in your bathing suit. So I'm gonna fight you in your tidy whities But you got to go dick out if I don't want to fight you. Okay, fair enough. But what if you're in like a Borat, one of those like Borat thongs underneath? Yeah. No, nah, you got to go dick out. But I would say... But you get my point. Is yes. like, like, here's the thing. A dude who gets naked to fight is a dude who doesn't have anything to lose. Okay. Let me one-up you on that one. Apologies for one-upping you. But are you telling me if I shit in my hand, you're going to want to fight me? No, probably not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because no matter how, how mad you are, I'm going to get a little bit of my shit on you. And that's... Even more infuriating. Yo, human shit. Human feces. Someone else's shit on you. That's game over. I'm yeah. I'm cutting off that limb. I would agree. I would agree. I'm I'm for sure cutting off that limb. Oh, dude, that is a great one. Yeah, I love yeah, that. Yeah. His name is Riff Nuts. Yeah, I also like for the fact that uh, he's got a shirt that's like a Fortnite shirt. It's just dropping into the fourth grade, but he's obviously 27. Yeah, I, I mean this dude. In there's it, a lot happening. With yeah, this dude. I really want to talk to him. I have so many questions. I also like how he was doing all. Like it was kind of like. It wasn't even Pujitsu. It was like he was like doing capoeira. Yeah, no, it but was like it was also like it was like shitty break. It was Tai Chi. Yeah, it was like the David Carradine caribou. Carradine. David Caribou is not a person. Close enough. Caribou is a type of animal. It is. <laughs> David Caribou would have been one of the half human, half animal people that we. That oh you, yeah, that, sweet tooth that you hadn't heard of. Yeah, I also liked he like it was like a mixture of like. Tai Chi, Capoeira, and then breakdancing because he did all of that on a piece of cardboard in his garage. I, I, here's my other question. Just as somebody who enjoys farting, what did he eat the night before so I could get 
well, that's a lot of buildup, dude. Do you, was that one continuous or do you think he broke it up? It looked continuous. Wait, can you scroll down? Does it say more from Rift Nuts? Oh, should we look at some that one? <laughs> I feel like I feel like maybe the record one. I mean, says, he's definitely getting himself a follow. Yeah, I think so. Today I'm going to be attempting pink to break eye. the world record for the fastest time to catch pink eye. Let's do this. Is he going to so stick? The current record is 25 hours. I'm attempting to get it in under one day. Let's go. Ah! <laughs> All right, going in three, two. He's going to fart one. in his own face. This dude is a <laughs> nut job. He's a master, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like a car back. <laughs> We're going to have to wait and see. <laughs> Let's get it. First of all, 22 I, hours. I think he's doing, he must have, you don't get it from that. He must have touched, you got to touch your butthole and put it in your eye. Like, yeah. that's the way to do it. I could break the record if I just put my finger in my butthole and then rub my True. eye. Hey, will you scroll down one more time, Matt? Matt, I want to do the I'm one. I'm following Riff Nuts. For sure. Matt, that one on the top right, that one, it looks like he's plunging a toilet. I would love to I would love to look at. Yeah, 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 that first one. Okay. Perfect. We'll do one more, and then... Uh... Oh, that was not... Nah, nah, we can, nah, we're, nah good. we're done. Yeah, Matt. We I'll could, tell you something. Oh, that was a that was like a one where he likes a girl who can take big shits. That's what that was. You like her because she takes big. That it says POV. You clogged the toilet, and he just said that was a big mud pie. Do that, you guys that, poop in front of each other? Uh, not all the time. She won't poop in front of me, but you know me, I'll poop in front of anybody. Yeah, yeah. I, I, your mom and come I come at me. Come at me. Wait, what's his name? Riff Nuts? Your your mom and I. I'm like the I'm like don't. The, I'm like the Walmart Dave England. Your mom. <laughs> I'm like <you're>, David London. <laughs> <laughs> David Manchester. <laughs> uh, you, your mom and I uh, don't poop in front of each other. I know you told me. Maybe that's what's good for your 20 years. Uh, well, also because I feel like here's the thing. I don't even let you poop in front of me one because I don't want to smell that. Your poops are poops. I mean, I'm a man. And and I do man uh, things. Yeah, that I do man shit. Yeah, I, literally. I, I, I like to poopa. I like to poopa in the toilet and a scoopa with my fingers. No. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> <laughs> Where did that go? I, I don't know, man. I'm telling you, I'm in such a good mood. Ugh. I'm in such a good mood. All right. So listen. Um. Oh, did, was there anything else you want to talk about? Did, uh, was there an urban dictionary oh, term? Oh, urban dictionary term. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So I want to just Google it just to make sure I got it right. Uh, because this is one I heard back in high school. Um, and since we were doing the Urban Dictionary terms, I feel like it was a good time to uh, bring it back. And uh, yeah. Okay, great. Um, your term. It's like the fucking spelling bee over here. Oh, <laughs> I get three guesses. Well, we'll give you five. Where you can ask questions and guesses. So you okay, have five okay. questions left. Okay. okay. Your turn, Sir Josh, is Alaskan pipeline. Oh, that is... Is it sexual? Yes. Does it have to do with the butthole? <laughs> yes. That's two. Because Alaskan pipehole means... Pipeline. Pipeline. Feels like there's some, some oil or crude oil involved. <laughs> <laughs> You know, that feels like uh, there's some bubbling oil. So I am going, is there diarrhea involved? Negative. Ooh. Alaskan, are there, is there a fish involved? Negative. You're at four. So I just need to guess. I get one I give more. You, I give you two more. I'll, I get one more question and then a guess. Okay. That's cool. So let me see what I got to write. The butthole's involved? Correct. And there's poop involved. <laughs> Correct. Okay. And pipeline implies penis. So. Is that a question or a no. statement? Okay. Okay. Does, is this, is there poop on the penis? Nope. Hmm. Well, that goes, that guess. All right. So I'm going to say an Alaskan pipeline is when you dress up like an Eskimo. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, wait a second. No, I like where no it's No bad starts. guesses, right? I like. I mean, there's a lot of bad <laughs> guesses. <laughs> I here's my guess is it's it's anal sex with using oil as lube, dressed as dressed up as an Eskimo in an igloo. Tell me I'm wrong. You're wrong. Ah, damn it. I mean, the the anal sex part was kind of right. Okay. Alaskan pipeline. The act of pooping into a condom, freezing the rubber overnight, and then inserting it into one's anus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I knew you'd like that oh, one. Oh, boy. First of all, <laughs> just the visual of trying to get poop into a <laughs> condom. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. You would have to shit on a plate and, and scoop, scoop it in. in. Because there's no piece of poop that will perfectly fit the size of the condom. And also, how do you how do you line that up? How do you stretch it? You need a friend from kindergarten to get in there with you. <laughs> and, and, with and tiny hands. Line it up over your butthole. Yeah, or just a really weird friend. But you know, like when you... It's, it's like when you... There's no way... Because you know, like when you see the people blow up the balloons. <laughs> yeah. It takes a couple... <laughs> To stretch yeah, out the but balloon. But also, the condom doesn't go straight. It goes out like that. Have you yeah. seen that? Like when people hold it out the window? Have you seen that thing? Huh? You've never seen the video of people driving in a car, holding a condom out the window and watching it expand? Do you think that makes me weird? Yes. Oh, no, I've never seen that. You're the, ki you're the king of weird shit. Yeah, I, but that feels... Any... This Alaska pipeline feels weird. That doesn't feel weird. I don't need to see a video of that. It's pretty funny. Eh, I don't care. It's, I'll send it to you outside of the podcast. Okay. Because you'd be surprised at how big condoms can stretch. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, you would. Nah. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. You know what I'm saying. Bada bing, 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 bing. All right. Well. <laughs> Dude, I'm so excited for Fort Wayne, Indiana. Uh, that's, like, not, that's not after this week. It's the week after. Right. But this comes out after this oh, week. Oh, yeah. Cool. That. So we're going to be in Fort Wayne, Indiana, July something and something. What is it? 18th like, and 19th yeah, or 19th and 20th? Somewhere between those dates. Yeah, but listen, Fort Wayne, there's not much going on, so figure it out. Facts. No, I, I'm excited to come back uh, to Fort Wayne, Indiana, which is definitely... Um, I had a great show there last time. I remember being there last time at the Summit. I don't think I've ever been to Fort Wayne. You have not, but I'm super psyched to go. Um, I'll have a bunch of new music, and, a, and I'm working on some new material, believe it or not. What, what, what about what? Oof, I almost swallowed my tongue. That was not possible. Huh? You can't swallow your tongue unless it's severed. That's true. Um, anyways. You have to think about that. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Uh, but I'm excited to go to Fort Wayne. So excited, so excited. So excited for everything that's happening. So excited for all you listeners and people who come to the shows and the people who comment on the posts. Your energy is... Is next level amazing. Yo, the I, Vegas shows though have been. I've been through the roof. Yo. I want to let you know that um, I know the times are tough right now. I will not be raising my ticket prices. I will not be raising the price on my merch. Um, I know a lot of my the my peers are, um, but I hear every week from people who thank me for keeping the ticket prices low. So they could afford to come to the show, man. And uh, a couple of years ago, I really was like, I make enough money. I don't need to, I, I, I make enough. I'm not greedy. And I want, I remember having no money yeah, and so not well, being able to go do some things that yeah. and being, getting out of the house and, 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 and having a date night and act and, and just in having a normal, you know, some fun. Yeah. That's so important to life. Important and so everyday life. I'm, I'm so ex I'm so happy to still be able to do that with you guys, and um, I, I and and it's my way of of paying it back to you all for coming out to the shows and supporting me for however many however long you all have. So thank you all so much. I am at a such a good spot in my life, probably never better for a myriad of reasons. A lot of that has to do with you guys. A lot of it has to do with you, dude, and um. So thank you all so much. And Jacob, what do you got? That's it for me, man. I uh, appreciate it. I know this is always a safe space. So for those of you watching and and uh, have did watch me have my little moment for my buddy, I appreciate you guys. And it's always, uh, it's always love. And it's always a thank you, thank you, thank you so much. On that same note, yo, go check in on your people. Always go check in on your people. Just check in. Make sure everyone's doing good. If they need someone to talk to or if they need some help, anything, 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 go check on your people. Um, it's important for those that you care about the most. Go check, go check, go check. 
Um, other than that, thank you guys so much again. Like he said, none of this would be possible without any of you. Um, comedianjoshua.com for tour dates and tickets. Like he said, Fort Wayne, Indiana. I think we're in Columbus, Ohio in August. Yep. Um, and Arlington, Virginia and at the Virginia, Draft House, yeah. which I love. I don't think I've ever been to Virginia with you. No, yet. Arlington, Virginia at the Draft House is so much fun. We're, we're going to go a day early so we can go in D.C. Oh, facts. So we're going to go get that pa paella? Fuck yeah, we are. Oh, my hey. God. In Georgetown. Oh, my God. I can't wait. That makes me so excited. Uh, but, yeah, go check out Tour Dates Tickets, ComedianJoshua.com, uh, Joshua of Comedy on all platforms. Uh, it's Jake Wolf on TikTok, Jake underscore Wolf on Instagram. I am about to change my name on IG. So if you see Jacob underscore Wolf or Jake, Jacob Wolf Comedy, whatever the fuck it's going to be, it'll be there. But thank you guys again always for showing up, for showing out. The newbies, the oldies, to all you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And as always, do someone nice for someone today. Tell somebody you love them. Jackson Odell, love you, miss you, dad. Love you. Love you, dude. Love you, love you, love you. See everybody. Hey, if you like this podcast you just watched, you're going to love the one I'm popping up in your face right now. Check it out.